All right, good morning, guys. 5 a.m. We're going to try and haul a load of chips before we actually start our normal work day so we can get caught up on hauling stuff off the job. Driving 5500 and that dump trailer back there. Just get it. Gosh dang, finally made it. Quarter till six now. I'm gonna get this thing turned around and load up some chips, but I have to hook up the grapple to the 12. It's got the multi head on it right now. Normally we don't start these residential jobs obviously before the sun's up but we don't start on this early because it's waking people up but I don't even know if this old boy's here today but we got to get caught up because we got a uh, bit of a ordeal yesterday dealing with DOT stuff so it burned up quite a day I'll make a video on that we got to swap this thing out Shouldn't take but a second. And go hook up to the brush rake grapple thing. so nice how easy it is to change attachments on this machine. Even with all those hoses on the other one, it took like five minutes. Got to back this thing up. Start looking. That's a good little load. It's, uh, the bed is seven by 14. So whatever the math is on that, times pretty much two. Let's get this tarp on it, and then I'm gonna throw another tarp sideways because the tarp's not quite big enough to cover the whole load. We got one bungee left. We'll put this one on the back. Need to get some bigger tarps. I had one that came with the trailer, but I said it before. Somebody stole it. They cut it. What the hell's on there? Get in there. Is the thing not connected? The hole doesn't go through. Come on, flip over there. There you go. Anyway, somebody stole my tarp. Some bums stole my damn tarp. So I got two of them. It still don't quite fit. <laughs> Maybe this Christmas, Diamond C. We'll talk. Get a bigger trailer. Come on now. One that's a little wider uh, and longer and taller sides. All machine. I'll probably sell this thing. More than likely. All right, we are loaded up, headed back to the drop zone, which is my house. And uh, we'll be right back here. It's our business as usual. We got a couple more trees need to be dropped. Probably six or so trees, and then we still got to clean up all the mess and grind all the stumps. So we got quite a bit of work left to do today, and it is, uh, I think it took me about 20 minutes, 30 minutes plus, unload, or to, took me about 30 minutes to load everything up. That included switching stuff over, so that wasn't bad.
Looks like an on button. I don't remember. Ha! Amazon remote. Just start filling in this spot right here. Getting paid to dump it, so I ain't using it for nothing. She goes steep, she goes even steeper, but it's hitting the damn ground. I'll probably let it down so I don't break a tail light. Dumb design. Push that out there with the tractor. Uh, go away, dear. <laughs> oh, he barely left me enough room. Squeeze the truck through. Wow. Two inches on that side. I probably could have moved over just a touch. <laughs> Dad got her all piled up. Let's go ahead and grab another load. It's funny, I was talking about it when I was filming dumping this earlier. I was like, oh, I'm gonna lower it back down so it doesn't break my tail light. When I drive forward, it still broke a tail light. I got a spare, but it still works. So, at least I think it still works. Yeah, Boone had uh, part of my breakfast burrito. Boom, boom. You guys can't even, oh, there you go. You can see the lift up that skinny tree the lift is good for 72 feet he might be 55 60 yeah I'd say at least 60 fun fun he's getting braver at it it's kind of spooky up there Got Haas in there. He's gonna load his truck up with chips. Didn't quite have enough firewood. <laughs> it looks like hell. I've been uh, shuttling stuff with the 12 and the grapple. It makes quick work out of this area over here, just back dragging it and piled it all up right here. Once he loads whatever he can get in his truck, we're gonna switch back to the mulcher head. We've loaded, this will be the third load. 
these loaded with 12 day or we have then switch back to the mulcher head and then grind up all this brush and if time allows that tree that he climbed or he didn't climb he sailed up with the lift got a stop there then he went up that one limbed it so he can follow that without hitting the building with the limbs and then there's two stops down there getting all over the place does it feel like it's got any more power we on the uh, the main valve or does it feel the same oh I had the hydraulics for the grapple hooked up on the secondary valving and it seemed kind of weak I guess so I tried it on the main one and he says it feels about the same it seems like it's squeezing pretty damn good going open up the grapple now let's close grab it pull it down <laughs> hang on just put the put the arms down that's good right there it's just this one little <laughs> there for your satisfaction, I filmed the little branch that was holding it on there. You know what? We could probably sell this spot up here for, you know, hay rides for corn maize and stuff. Oh, broke my knee. Gosh dang it. Having a bad knee day. I'm gonna have to sell all the stick shift trucks. The left, the push, the clutch, foot. Oh, bad knee. So, I only have one automatic truck. I guess a track chipper wouldn't be bad for doing this. Separating these little clumps, they hand it to you. Put you 
going to be the chipper. But compared to normal with the Prime Tech, take a full grapple load and you can handle it. Loaded, loaded. Now we gotta shed some weight. Thing's been pushing three days. The last load of chips. Well, maybe there's two there, I don't know. We got her cleaned up. All this stumps ground. Ground all those over there. We're done with this project. I've hauled quite a few loads of chips off out of here now. I got a big old heaper on there. There's not much weight. Need a bigger dang dump trailer. Longer one, bigger sideboards at least. Ain't even close to being up to weight, but it looks like a lot. Maybe I'll get that in there. If not, we're working up there at least another day. We're going to finish out the day here and then one more day thinning out more of those little trees. Haas is headed up there with the water wagon for fire prevention. We're going to be chipping the trees. Just have a little water on site. Helpful. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. All right, I know I said I'd see you guys on the next one, but I got to interrupt. I got some questions for you guys. Now, we ended up hauling 10 loads with the dump trailer. Now, I said it would be nice to have a bigger dump trailer because I was hauling a load every morning before work and a load every evening when I went home from work. And I just dumped it here at the house because I got property. It's not a big deal. I actually bring home stuff pretty often and dump out there and it just kind of it's gonna build up over time we'll see what happens with it but if I had a bigger dump trailer to the spec the bumper pull and everything like I wanted maybe I would have shaved maybe two loads off of that but end result I'm not ripping the customer off by hauling what I'm hauling um, heaping the loads up the best I can dimensionally I even put bigger sideboards on it because I'm not getting up to weight the chips are relatively light compared to you know gravel or dirt or something like that so i'm just heaping it up best i can and uh if i haul more loads i can make more money and again that's not ripping the customer off i'm making the most out of what we got and i would have saved them 150 bucks if i had a bigger dump trailer that cost me 15 grand so <laughs> i'd probably be ripping myself off more but i want to say like i did use a dump trailer the next day to haul equipment to the job i brought the kubota wheel tractor that has a pto chipper on the back we ended up chipping up whole trees for the property next door to this one. And that keeps raising the topic of conversation that dad and I have often is like, obviously we have mulchers. The reason why the 12 was only mulcher on this job is because we needed the brush rake, we needed the tree shear, and we needed the stump grinder, and we needed the mulcher. Four attachments, one machine. If we had the prime tech there, I'd have to bring in another machine and I'd probably bring the 12 anyway because I... There wasn't enough brush to, brush to justify bringing a bigger mulcher, but nevertheless, we still have like five mulchers. But a track chipper. We always keep talking about a track chipper. So a, um, not a company, but I guess it's a company, but a dealer reached out, talking some details, pricing on, I would like to get a track chipper. Now, my idea is to have a track chipper that I can haul with the mini excavator for smaller jobs that don't require bringing the 082 so I can haul 8,000 pounds with the small excavator so I'd be hauling about 12,000 pounds if I could find a configuration like a bandit 12 inch chipper 
is about 8,500 pounds. I could haul that with the small Kubota excavator or dad, non-CDL. He could haul that uh, behind his truck, barely. And uh, so, actually, I don't even, with Cal, I don't know. But anyway, maybe I have to go smaller than that. Anybody have experience running a smaller bandit track chipper? I don't want a pole behind a chipper. That just won't do what we want. I won't ever, no, ain't going to do that. But, uh, yeah, so I'll put a picture up towing the little Kubota thing in the dump trailer. It barely fits. I gotta leave the doors open. It's, it's a sight. But it's legal. It fits. Nope. No problem. Later on, maybe we'll make something happen with a bigger dump trailer. But right now, that little sucker is doing the job, and I'm pretty happy with it. It made me some good money last week. Well, we'll catch you guys officially on the next one. Comment below your thoughts on the dump trailer process. I actually, if you only could have one trailer for doing everything, a dump trailer is the most versatile, awesome little rig because you can haul equipment with it, you can dump material with it, haul material, you can, you can do everything with one little trailer. You can't do everything great, but it can do everything kind of mediocrely. That's the way I kind of feel about it. But they are handy. I'll say that. See you guys. Thanks for watching.